got some in this planisher. Uh, a nice, super expensive planisher. Um, and I'm just going to try and smooth out some of the, the lumps. I think I'm mixing up my metaphors. It's an air scratcher, not a nose scratcher. So it has come out okay. Not great. We're getting there. So I think we got kind of the shape in. As you can see, I kind of had to split. Uh, why is that not focused? Uh, anyway, I had to split both of those things, but I'm going to take it over and put it in the vise and put a little definition in that curve. Maybe see if that will that will help start defining that. Anyway, bye. All right, so I'm thinking that I'm going to see if I can uh, put a couple of pieces of metal between this um, so what do we have We've got like soft jaw material oh yeah this ought to do right something like this, and this. maybe 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 Uh, this is a proper uh, bending machine. You can get these at Sears. Um, it also serves as a drill press. So, you know, it's multi-use. You know, you can we'll do a little bit of anything with it. Um, my pal Mikey used to have ideas of making pornos with one of these machines. That's a subject, I think, for another time. But just to keep in mind of where machinists' brains are usually thinking. What do you think about something like that? Except, you know, it just kind of popped it open. It didn't really need more surface area. We need some taller jaws, I think. Okay, let's rethink, rethink. Okay, after much consideration, 
I came up with the C clamp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a thinker, is what I am. Let's go down just a little bit. Now, I don't really want to bend it a lot. I just want to give it a, a solid crease where it's just gotten a little bit washed away. Um, I don't know, is it worth pounding on that a little bit and getting it to... Luckily, I have rubber mallets all over the shop. Um, somebody ought to take other setups down, and then it wouldn't be so hard to. Okay, okay. I'm thinking we're all right. Let's try that out. Somebody ought to. Yeah, I think that was solid. A solid idea. Gave it nice definition. Okay, let's go back to finishing some stuff. All right, so I'm just thinking they're fairly symmetrical. I mean, we've got a little work to do here, but the rest of it, besides being uh, misshapen ball of clay, Come on, little Zoolander fans going on there. Um, okay, so it does kind of look as it is with that square bottom like one of those stupid Mojave tanks, which I just hate. I think they're the most obnoxious, ugly things. So we're going to have to roll that under without screwing up everything. So. Let's try that. And then I think we can trim the top up in a, a fairly square shape and then roll one ser fairly flat piece. I don't know. Might be starting over tomorrow too. So, I kind of got it into the shape that I want. Can you see me? Uh, <coughs> I don't know. And so what I did is I cut out just kind of a rough form. I'm thinking, you know, I'll just start bending it into shape. I think the key here is don't go too far.
Oh, maybe a little bit further back, huh? Here. Oh. So, it's kind of a rough idea, and then I think what I'll do is then just start trimming the sides over. Yeah, maybe.